Let's go, Grace. Tell them what it's time for. It's time for Mass with Mr. Thomas. Here we go with chapter 13, lesson number three, parallel vectors. You can see the next lesson is looking at collinearity, and before you get to that, you've got to be absolutely fine with parallel vectors. You need to understand that. So I've thrown this lesson in here to make sure you're okay with parallel vectors. Imagine if you've got a vector u, which has components x, y, then k u. Well, you're multiplying by a scalar, so you're multiplying the x and the y by k. So you'd end up with kx, ky. If you had them plotted, then you could have vector u. It's going to have a certain length, certain direction. If you plot ku as well, if you're drawing that, well, you'll see that the direction remains the same, but it will be a different size. But both vectors will be parallel. Really, in general, if one vector is a multiple of the other, then the two vectors will be parallel. What that means then is u will be parallel to v if u equals kv. So in other words, if u is a multiple of v, then the two vectors will be parallel. So let's go on and show that. So example one, worked, worked example, to show that two vectors are parallel. For example, if we have u and v, so u is two, three, and v is six, nine. First step, what you wanna do is you wanna take out the highest common factor from each vector. Just imagine way back when you did this with highest common factor, taken outside the brackets, it's kind of doing the same thing. So vector u, two, three, well, you can't take out any common factor there. The highest common factor would just be one of two and three, so we just leave that as it is. With vector v, which is six, nine, well, six and nine both divide by three. So doing that, you could say that's three times the vector, two, three. What you should notice is that you have the same vector. Here we've got vector two, three, and here we've got vector two, three. So you check for the same vector and you will have that if they are parallel. What you will then do is you want to express one vector as a multiple of the other. And to do this, you're wanting to cross over. So to do that, what you want to think is you want to think, right, well, I've got a three here and the three will go with vector u. So you can say then that three u equals, and then you're wanting to take the number in front of the brackets here. Well, highest common factor was just one. So imagine there's a one there and that will go with vector v. So you can say that three u equals one v. Or as it says here, vector u is two, three. So if this here was vector u, then you can see then that v would just be equal to three u. So there's a couple of ways you could think about that. What you need to do then after that is you need to express one vector in terms of the other. I suppose for this example, we already have that. We know that v is equal to three u, but what you may wish to do is to finish off and say, well, u equals, well, divide both sides by three and u would equal one third v. Or, as I said, you could have it back to front, so v equals 3u. But really, because one vector is expressed as a multiple of the other, then u and v are parallel. Let's try another one. Example 2. So for this one, show that these two vectors are parallel. So we have a and b. a is 6, negative 2, and b is 21, negative 7. So the first thing, Calissa, what do we do? Good, you take out the highest common factor in each vector. So, Calissa, sticking with you then, for A, what would the highest common factor be? Good, it would be 2, so you can take 2 out, so that is 2 times the vector, 3, negative 1. For B, what about that one? Isla, what do you think? Good, 21 and negative 7, both divide by 7, so you can take 7 outside the bracket, and it would be 7 times the vector, 3, negative 1. What do you notice here, Fatima? Yeah, you've got the same vector. We've got a three negative one here. We've got a three negative one here. So we're looking for the same vector and we have that, which means that they will be parallel. We need to go on though and express one in terms of the other. And to do that, we then cross over. So take the number inside the bracket here. We've got a seven that is going to go away over here with a. So we know then that seven a is going to be equal to and crossing over the other way, we know we've got a 2 here, and that will go with vector b. So we can say that 7a equals 2b. So expressing one vector in terms of the other. So in other words, getting down to a equals or b equals, we know then that a would equal, well, if we divide both sides by 7, we can say that it would be 2 sevenths b. Or to get b on its own, we divide both sides by 2, 
So AB would equal 7 over 2A. And again, one vector is written as a multiple of the other, so we know then that A and B are parallel. Let's try another one. Example 3 show that these two vectors are parallel. So we've got P and Q. P is 4, negative 10. Q is negative 6, 15. So the first thing that we want to do, what is that? Good, take out the highest common factor. So doing that. For P, we think, right, well, 4 and negative 10, they both divide by 2. So let's do that. Take 2 outside each of the brackets here, outside the vector. So we'd have 2 times the vector, 2, negative 5. Woo! For Q, do the same thing, we'll take out the highest common factor. Negative 6 and 15, they both divide by 3. So, take 3 out. So we'd have 3 times negative 2, 5. What do we always want to look for? Yes, the same vector. However, here we've got a 2, negative 5, and here we've got a negative 2, 5. So really, one is the negative of the other. What we need is the same vector. And to get that, what do you think we would do, Ms. Owl? Good, just take out a negative as well. So as well as taking out 3 here, take out the negative. So it's going to be negative 3 times. And if you take the negative out negative 2, you're left with 2. Take the negative out of 5, and you'd have negative 5. So if you multiply both these numbers by negative 3, you would get back to negative 6 and 15. We're just taking the negative out to give us the 2 and the 2 and the negative 5 and the negative 5. In other words, the same number. So we're needing the same vector there. After that, we're wanting to cross over to write one in terms of the other. So to do that, do the exact same thing. We've got the negative 3, and that is going to go with P. And going the other way, we've got the 2 here outside this vector. That is going to go with Q. So we can say then that negative 3P equals 2Q. And expressing one vector in terms of the other, again, just getting down to P equals or Q equals, to get P in its own, we divide both sides by negative 3, so we'd have 2 over negative 3, Q, Q, or Q, to get that in its own, we're dividing both sides by 2. So Q is going to be negative 3 over 2, P. And one vector is written in terms of the other, so we know that P and Q are parallel. Woo! Next one, example four. Are these two vectors parallel? So we have vector C and vector D. C is 12, 9. D is 16, 8. First thing we want to do is take out the highest common factor in each vector. So vector C with 12, 9, the highest common factor would be 3. Good, so take out 3 from that vector. So it's 3 times the vector, 4, 3. And with vector D, 16, 8, highest common factor would be 8. Brilliant, so take out 8, and it's 8 times the vector to 1. What do we want to look for? Well, we're looking for the same vector. Do we have the same vector here? Uh -uh. No, we don't. Here we've got a 2, 1. Here we've got a 4, 3. We've taken out the highest common factor. So we can say then that these two vectors are not equal. 4, 3 is definitely not the same as 2, 1. And what does that mean then? Brilliant, you've got it. It just means that these two vectors, C and D, are not parallel. Woo! Okay, time to try some of these questions. Pause this video, try these questions on your own, and then play it again to check the answers. Really, you want to show that the following vectors are parallel and express one in terms of the other. All the vectors are parallel, so under here, I've expressed one in terms of the other. Pause the video now. Have you paused it? Good. Here we go then with the answers. So the answers to number one, answer to number two, answer to number three, and the answer to number four. How did you do? Woo! High five. Well done. Bye.